Hi, I'm Preston DeGuise, and today I want to talk to you about cyber resilience. Now, there's a lot more to cyber resilience these days than just security. In fact, I talk to my customers every day about cyber resilience, and I don't even work in IT security. So in this video, I'll explain why cyber resilience isn't just a security function anymore, and what you can do to increase the defensive posture of your business. Let's start by talking about security. The simplest security to understand is perimeter-based. It's like a security guard at the front of a building who controls access to it. Perimeter security is focused on stopping bad things from getting onto the network in the first place. That's your external firewalls, demilitarized zones, and antivirus software. These are all useful to be sure, but we're a long way past the day where the only security you needed is perimeter-based. So we move on to internal security. Using our previous analogy, this is controlling what someone can do once they're inside the building. This starts with things like user authentication, role-based access controls, and internal network firewalls. And then, of course, it grows from there. But security is constantly evolving to include techniques such as real-time traffic monitoring, continuous log capture and analysis, and even machine learning tools that help to identify threats on networks and systems. At the end of the day though, bad actors can still get in. So a best practice approach to building cyber resilience comes from assuming that your security processes can be defeated. And that means you always need a backup plan. Don't be fooled, cybercrime is big money and it's not going to go away. According to a Verizon study, 86% of breaches are financially motivated. Security intelligence say the average breach cost is $3.92 million. PurpleSec found that cybercrime went up 600% during 2020 due to COVID-19. And Security Ventures tells us that cybercrime will cost $10.5 trillion annually by 2025. Cyber attacks come from a broad array of threat vectors, including compromised staff accounts, nation state actors, organized crime, hacktivists, solo attackers, and disgruntled employees. And to be honest, that's just the tip of the iceberg. And this is why cyber resilience isn't just a security function. Bad things are going to happen, and that means you have to be prepared for it. You've got to have a business continuity strategy for it, and that means you also need a data recovery strategy for it. Bad actors loathe backups. They don't want you to have backups. If you've got backups, you've got a way of recovering the data that they've trashed. If they can destroy your backups, they're in control, which is why you'll hear government agencies around the world advocating now for air-gapped backups. And that's where Dell's Cyber Vault comes into play. This is a solution that lets you take copies of your most critical data, system rebuild data, business continuity data, and mission critical records, and lock it away for safekeeping, analyzing it for irregularities while you're doing it. So how does vaulting work? Well, using a combination of Dell's PowerProtect data domain storage platform and CyberSense from Index Engines, it ingests your data, then it air gaps the vault, it locks the ingested data, it then scans that data for issues, then it reports its findings back out of the vault, and of course it updates its modeling, learning the way your data changes, and it repeats it every single day. Most importantly, if an issue is found, it helps you identify the data that's actually safe to recover so you don't reintroduce attacks back into your environment. If you want more information on how you can build out a cyber resilience platform for your business, here are some options. Dell has a dedicated cyber recovery page you can check out. Your local Dell Data Protection Solutions team will be happy to answer your questions. On my data protection blog, search for the word cyber, and I cover cyber vaulting strategies in data protection, ensuring data availability, published with Routledge. And remember, cyber resilience isn't just about security. You've got to have a robust backup plan. 